Dad? Aren't you sleeping yet? It's time for bed, honey. Dad, I can't sleep. Can you tell me a bedtime story? All right. What do you want to hear? Something... something about an adventure. Hmm. I think I know just the thing. When I was your age, my biggest dream was to follow my Uncle Fred on one of his adventures around the world. One day, he disappeared. I stepped into the lobby of my uncle's house. It lay just across the hill from where I lived with my mother, your grandmother. She had tried to keep me from going, but I wanted to see, see if Fred was home yet from his latest adventure. My uncle used to send me postcards from his long journeys. Greetings from Nepal, Galapagos, Kilimanjaro, the Amazon River. This was the first time he had left without a word, without sending cards. I had visited Uncle Fred's house countless of times, but in the locker, which usually was closed, I found something I hadn't seen before. It was an adventure suit. It resembled the one that Fred used, but smaller in size. Curiosity got the better of me, and I tried it on. It fit like it had been custom made for me. The most mysterious room of my uncle's house was the observatory. There he kept his newest experiments, and right now it held a pad used for disposing of garbage. I was sure that someone had been here before me. Someone had built these bridges and carved these symbols, but who, where were they now? The power core I found activated the suit's grappling device when I picked it up. It must have been left here by my uncle. Mm. 
The grappling device left a sort of symbol everywhere I grappled. I noticed similar symbols already there in the cave. And I was getting more and more certain that this place was where Fred had gone. Adventure suit was fantastic. By combining a power leap with a grapple, I could fly long distances through the air at great speed.
Did Fred put them here? Or was somebody else here as well? Hello, who are you? You're not from here. Wow, you look just like Fred, but smaller and with less hair on your face. <laughs> she knew Fred. I told her that he was my uncle and that I was looking for him. What's an uncle? I said that he was, that I had known him all my life. Really? Me too. I'll help you find him. I'm Madeline. The others call me Mad Maddie sometimes. I don't know why really, but you can call me Maddie. You've never been to the village, right? Let's meet over there in the square. I'll show you around. I bet you can get there easily with your suit thing. So, I'll see you there.